Good morning. This is Zach Scott here with another quick tutorial. Uh, I'm just going to roll through some uh, IK rig stuff. I know Valve did a little bit of a tutorial on this, um, but I found some some uh, annoying things and some cool things that they don't touch on, so I'm maybe going to go a little bit more in-depth on them. And uh, specifically, I'm going to talk about applying an IK rig to a pre-existing animation and uh, using it to modify that animation. So, um, yeah. I've got my little uh, Aperture Ellis here. It's a skin I've been working on. It's pretty shitty. If anybody wants to volunteer and do a super high quality one, that would be badass. Um, but you know, he's just sitting around uh, doing T-Pose. So uh, I want to throw some animation on him. Let's see. I want him to, I don't know, hold something. Hmm. Yeah, maybe I'll throw a portal gun in there and have him hold it. Uh, but it's cool stuff. So. Fun thing that Valve doesn't mention about IK rigs is if you're working on a model and you want to import an animation by doing a uh, import sequence, uh, you'll run into some trouble. So let's say I just apply the IK rig here to, to him. So to do that, you just go to rig um, biped simple. Uh, I've got a couple of these uh, which are available for download. Um, I'll have a link to them, I guess. Uh, but Biped Simple is friggin' great. It works on all the Left 4 Dead guys, it works on all the Team Fortress guys, it works on all the uh, Half-Life guys, um, and a lot of the custom models out there as well, so uh, it's pretty great. Uh, I'll just throw that on him, and in a second, once it applies that, yeah, you can see now we have a nice IK rig hooked up. So basically it'll drive his uh, arms based on uh, the positions of his hands and such, so it's a great little function um makes it easier to do some animation and posing work um but now we can't import any sequences it's all grayed out so that sucks um so what i could do is just uh rip this ellis up and um remove the ik rig uh actually i think that is what i will do i was gonna try and do something tricky but uh i realized i've never actually tested it so i'm probably stupid to try and test it here in the tutorial. Um, I have a theory on how to import things onto this guy without having to remove the rig, but we're not going to do that right now. Um, but let's just go to sequence, let's grab any animation. Uh, I want him to have the portal gun, so I'll just give him a two-handed weapon idle, maybe... Uh, let's see... We got guitar, we got frying pan... I want a two-handed gun. Where the hell are your guns? Injured... Elite? Injured... Rifle? Injured rifle. There we go. Cool. Injured rifle. So now we have a little injured Ellis. We reframe him. He is standing here doing some animation, and that's awesome. Awesome. So I'm just gonna grab that portal gun and throw it on him, so... Bye. Go to Portal 2, do a search for gun, grab the world model, yep, awesome, possum. Grab the portal gun, let's see, I want the weapon bone and I want his weapon bone. Um, yeah, so weapon bone here, valve weapon, is that right or left? I want this guy, yeah. So just drag that onto Weapon Bone, and as you've been taught in the past, just default that out, and ba-boom, he's got his gun in his hand. Uh, and so we can just use the IK rig to quickly correct some of this. Um, clearly his hands are not quite perfect, so I'm going to grab uh, the rig, reapply it, and awesome. So first things first is his left hand's in the wrong spot. So I'm going to grab this, I'm going to just hook it around the side of the gun, or I guess I could go for the, um, I guess I could go for the stock. I know that part would slam shut and crush his hand in a, I don't want to say real life because it's a friggin' video game, but yeah. So just by doing that, I can quickly readjust where his hand is, um, and everything is good. However, I can't, like, uh, pick the hand up necessarily because his other hand will stay there. So if I use the IK rig, I can grab that same weapon bone that we used before and uh, lock that onto the hand. 
And now I have a manually aiming um, Ellis. That's great. Um, it'll take a second to update in the viewport because the IK rig's slow, um, but it's great. You got you got this whole thing going. We can grab his uh, we can grab his rig. We can move his pelvis down. Um, what I like to do is I like to grab the uh, pelvis and lock it to the hands because the hands, you know, they tend to um, follow the torso. Actually, in this case, I'll lock it to the weapon bone as well. So, yeah. So now if I move the pelvis, it moves the whole guy. Yep. Um, it's just, it keeps your hands from getting too far off or looking too stiff or floaty um, just by locking them on. Uh, let's see. What else can I show you? Oh, yeah, the fun stuff. So um, all those IK rigs I mentioned, uh, let's see, yeah. Um, like this Atlas, Chow, Dog, Peabody rig. Um, those are all made by a great guy named Misfit who uh, is in the community a bit and he figured out IK rigging pretty damn quick and he's been a, a great help. Uh, and so like a few weeks ago he was showing me these rigs and he's like, oh Zach, I think I got an idea. I think I can get IK FK blending working just by, by adding a new node onto the, onto the rig. And I'm like, I don't necessarily understand what that means. And he's like, well, it's a, uh, you can blend between IK and FK without having to remove the uh, rig. So we can optionally choose to have the great um, elbow movement or not. And so I'm like, what? And uh, he tools around for like two or three weeks and uh, off and on he's trying to solve this. And then I go in and I just show the hidden controls for my model but on a whim. And I notice that uh, that shit's already in there. On every one of these rigs we have these hidden point constraint uh, weight sliders. So if I grab, for example, the arms, let's see, where the hell are the arms? There's the arms. Um, and I go to right hand weight, I can move the slider, and his animation will transition between being driven by IK and being driven by FK. Uh, if you don't know, um, IK and FK basically stand for inverse kinematics for IK, which is, uh, it drives the motion of the arm, etc. And then the other one is, uh, FK for it's the opposite of that. <laughs> Let me see. What does FK stand for? Oh, well, that's not interesting. Um, yeah, fuck you, Google. It stands for something sciencey. Um, you should Google that, but uh, I'm not going to. But yeah, so we can we can quickly blend in, which is really useful because um, if I just put his arms back, let's move his uh, left arm, uh, which is really useful because IK is great for aligning up hand plants and uh, leg plants and all that, but it's not necessarily the best if you just want like realistic animation because in animation, um, in animation motion is driven by the the joints first. So if you were moving your arm on a character. It would be, uh, it would be like the shoulder would move first and then the elbow and then the hand. But with IK, you move the hand and then it moves the shoulder and the elbow to match. So it's, it's a little less realistic, even though it is getting the p poses right. Um, so let's see if I can find his body parts. Uh, yeah, so, uh, I know a lot of people are like, um, whenever they throw on the IK rig, it'll look like, uh, It'll look like this, and they won't have access to most of the bones. So if, if this guy was a soldier, you wouldn't have access to, like, his coat bone or his uh, his helmet straps just by applying the IK rig. And a lot of people think you got to totally rip off the IK rig entirely just to see that. But if you just go to Show Hidden Controls, um, you can get back all of those bones. They're still there. They're just hidden. Some of them may or may not work. Uh, like, if I grab the... Um, if I go back to arms, if I grab his, uh, let's say, left upper arm and I just rotate that, that will work because I've blended off IK. Um, but if I put IK back on, whoops, for the right thing. Where are you? Where are you? There you go. No, sorry. That one. If I put IK on, this uh, left upper arm won't do shit because um, it's currently being controlled by the IK controller. Um, but as soon as I blend that off, I, re I regain full control of it so I can do whatever the heck I want so I can I can grab his arm and I can 
move the elbow and uh, move the forearm. There's two of these two. There's two controllers here. One of them controls the arm and then the other one controls the, the direction of the hand. So in order to fully get him turned off from IK, you have to you have to grab both of these sliders. See how it's uh, it's still pointing his hand at the IK controller. Um, quick note: the IK controller itself, all it is is a um, a set of bones that it or or handles that it generates in the in the engine, and then the code just runs a script to point the bones at the other handles and stuff. Um, it's really basic stuff. So yeah, cool. Uh, I'm just gonna grab uh, this arm. I'm just gonna put this back on for now. Um, yeah, so we just got him standing here, and that's cool. And I'm gonna put in one uh, quick big animation here. Man, why is he looking so shitty now? Um, hmm. Did I? Oh, there we go. Yeah, cool. So I'm just gonna show you one other really shitty thing about IK rigs, which is um, let's say I got my pelvis bone. Where is it? Where's pelvis? Uh, the problem about showing a bunch of things is that now you have a bunch of things to dig through. Um, and this is one reason why it's really good to not have to switch off or remove the IK rig is, um, here we go. Let's make some keyframes. So let's have him kinda just do some stupid movements but move around a little bit. Um, just so that we generate some keyframes here to show off. Oh god, that's weird. Yeah, um, cool. See, it looks like I'm getting some sort of locking issue here. Yeah, cool. Yeah, see, I can move him this high here, but then over here I can only move him partly as high. That's an annoying bug. I don't know what the deal is with that bug, so I'll just use this on a smaller scale. So let's see, um, let me just zoom in and do it here, so, there we go. Cool. So, we have some, some crappy Ellis dodgy movement, um, in a real example, just pretend this is your nice fancy animation, but I just want to show you what's going to happen with the curves when I rip this IK rig off. So, I rip the IK rig off, and watch my keyframes down here, just going to go to uh, grab the survivor. In order to do that, I have to detach all the locks, so I'm just gonna knock those off. Uh, well, the gun can stay, actually. Um, well, no. I'll just do, unlock everything. Cool, so in order to rip the IK rig off, I've turned off all the locks, and I'm just going to detach rig, and that's good. So in a second here, it'll think, and it'll drop all my IK controllers, and I'll be back to the original bone structure of this character. Cool, so now we have this dude. But, if I find his pelvis, none of my keyframes are there. What the hell? All that work. How do I edit those keyframes? And check this out. Okay, okay, let's say I want to keep the motion, but just add a little bit more motion here. Um, so I'll just add a keyframe, and uh, maybe I'll add a second keyframe. But oh shit, it's totally blanked out everything between these two keyframes. So, I can't really necessarily edit the motion that I had very safely. Um, and this is a real pain in the ass, because you're, you're going to want to just add keyframes in, but it's going to be shitty. So, the way you get around this is, you have to add keyframes at very close intervals uh, to get a, an approximation. So... Um, cause it'll, it'll put a keyframe at exactly where the curve is, but it'll blank out everything between them. So, if I'm just really slow about this, it's still messing with my curves a little bit, um, which is unavoidable, but, uh, I can at least keep the general size of the curve, um, though I wouldn't recommend animating like this, um, but if you end up in this situation where you lose all your keyframes, but you still gotta move things, I would actually recommend going uh, and creating key, new keyframes in a uh, old curve from the back forward. So if you would start at the end of your thing and, um, man, his legs are super fucked. Yeah. Removing IK rigs can sometimes just do horrible, horrible things. It's not really a great thing to do. 
um, especially when you're changing things on the pelvis. Um, we've just totally... Oh god. Oh no. Oh bad. Anyway, um, yeah, check this out. This is some cool art on the wall. Uh, I think I've shown you everything. Um, we don't need to look at Ellis anymore. That's, uh, that's a bit scary what he's doing over there. So, um, yeah, IK rigs, check them out. Use the hidden controllers, show the hidden options. Um, have fun with the weights, anchor them onto things, and, oh god, just, uh, be happy. Take it easy.